Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Let's get things rolling out there this morning. Stevens Point, no snow falling at this point, but we're watching things from the south going to the north uh, that's developing with that area of low pressure. That's prompted winter weather advisories in the southern parts of the state for accumulating snow. And one winter storm warning in the southwestern parts of the state, too, in Grant County. And a lot of this will expire at 6 p.m. later on. But notice nothing in effect in our viewing area, though. They have trimmed Adams County out of the advisories with the way the system is currently tracking. Now, there is stuff moving in, a little bit of a wintry mix in the southern part parts of the state. We're seeing some returns getting close to Adams County, so the areas could see some snow today and maybe some other precipitation, but nothing that'll be too meaningful. Maybe just enough to make the roadways just a little bit tricky, but any accumulations will be rather minimal, if anything at all. But the area of low pressure located right about in here, tracking from the southwest, going toward the north and east, and we're watching the secondary area of low pressure located right about in here. That may get a few lake effect flurries and snow showers going later on today, and then tonight, that might be the only meaningful accumulation chances that we may have, and even that isn't looking like much at this point. We still have about 13 inches of snow on the ground here in Rhinelander with a little bit more up in parts of the UP. However, the melting will continue as six of the next seven days in our forecast will be above freezing, dealing with 30s and 40s. But future cast moving forward, more snow will be moving in later into the morning into the afternoon period, pretty much hugging our southeastern corners of the viewing area. But as that tracks away, the winds swing out of the north with that secondary front moving through. We'll get some lake effect flurries and snow showers going. Maybe if any accumulations occur in the UP and near the UP border, maybe an inch or two there, but of course dramatically less further down toward the south. Now the clouds start to break up as we head towards Friday afternoon. So by Friday afternoon, the clouds that we start off with will begin to get out of here. We'll see a lot of sunshine to finish things up before a few clouds try to sneak through as we head towards early Saturday morning. Again, nothing meaningful in the snowfall department at all. A lot of goose eggs on the map, though. Anything that does fall might be closer towards parts of Adams County. Even then, that's not looking like anything too impressive. But, of course, toward the UP, though, again, maybe a little bit more, maybe an inch or two in the UP and maybe hugging the UP border. But, again, whatever falls may melt pretty quickly with temperatures that will be rather above freezing. But right now we're not above freezing. We're in the teens right now, even getting close to 20 degrees now in Rhinelander, we're at 19 degrees there. But clouds have held temperatures up in our southern counties, remote and east, Stevens Point, Wisconsin Rapids, just to name a few areas or in the lower 30s this morning. Our average high temperature is 25 degrees. We'll reach for the upper 30s today. Back to near average Friday, and in fact, below average by a few degrees. But look at this, 40s and 30s the next several days as well. Saturday, all the way through Wednesday. So the snow melt will be continuing the next several days as well. Forecast for today, 37 degrees, mostly cloudy, a few snow flurries and snow showers, mainly to the south. The UP may get some going later this afternoon with some lake effect, with that northwest wind getting up to about 30 miles per hour. By tonight, it's 14 degrees, mostly cloudy, a few flurries, maybe light snow showers, courtesy of Lake Superior. Northwest wind at about 30 miles per hour. Northwoods furniture and mattress, seven-day forecast. After today, look at this, Friday, all the way through Tuesday, we're dry as well with a mixture of clouds and sun, and the temperature is, with the exception of Friday, Friday and Friday night, above freezing too in the upper 30s to lower 40s. We fall back a bit to 35 degrees Wednesday with a chance for rain and snow showers with the snow actually beginning Tuesday night.